seriously this is so cool getting onto a double decker bus in london good morning from a wonderfully sunny london i'm on my way to the old street more yoga studio for a morning session yes let's do it yoga morning session Well, that was interesting. I was expecting something completely different. I just wanted to relax and, you know, just easily wake up. Nope, hardcore class again. So I have to be very fair. After 15 minutes into the class, I was like, I'm just gonna leave because it was Chaturanga after Chaturanga after Chaturanga. And I was like, this is really not my jam. So, uh, but, I have been to enough yoga classes to recognize this moment and it's a learning opportunity. It's an opportunity to surrender and to get out of your comfort zone of what you've been doing all the time. And I think like three quarters into the class, I just surrendered and it became fun. <laughs> I was like, I understand what the lesson is from this class because I love, love, love Saji style, like the relaxing and everything but I have getting I've been getting a little bit too comfortable and I noticed that I'm ready for a handstand and I've just not been doing it I've been holding myself back a little bit more and that's why you need to have um, you need to try out different things because every teacher has something that they can teach you and this teacher taught me to you know go a little bit further I can I can do more than I'm doing right now and she was so thoughtful and so sweet and she knew uh, everyone's name in a class and she asked for my name and she was really really sweet so yeah if hardcore is your jam I would highly recommend yes favorite breakfast so I have the avocado and herbs wrap this is so good you need to try this and uh, fennel and mint tea just popped into a grocery store to pick up some of my favorite british candy which is this galaxy ripple bar oh my gosh this one's so good at least i hope this is the one but i think it is and also these kellogg squares to die for to die for so good also i picked up some other british candy and sweets and candy bars to uh, make a video about it with my brother we're going to do something that I wanted to do for a very, very long time and in a lot of cities, but just never got around to it. And Thea from the blog, Thea was here. She gave me the idea and now we're finally going to do it. We're going to um, get on a local bus and just drive around town. It took me a while, but I found the bus stop okay. for bus 11 and bus 23. Got onto the bus. So this is bus 11 towards Victoria Station and I thought, you know what, let's just take a touristy ride, I'll see if I can get to Primark after that. And we got like the best seats. Seriously, this is so cool, getting onto a double-decker bus in London. I'm such a tourist. <laughs> By the way, in the past, when I was here with Stephanie, we always bought like the day cards for the metro system. But honestly, if you're only going to two or three stops, just get an Oyster card, it's cheaper. So. Yeah, that's my tip of the day for transportation in London. Wow, are we in London or are we in Rome? What is this building? This is so pretty. I think this is St. Paul's. Is it St. Paul's? I don't know. It's so pretty. It is St. Paul's. This is really so much fun. You have to do this. Another pretty building. Trafalgar Square and we're almost at Victoria Station. Hello women. Hello Parliament. <laughs> now we know where it is. Over here, Westminster. We're at Victoria Station. This was such a lovely ride. Now I'm going to get onto bus 73 because I want to go to Oxford Circus or Bond Street, whatever, like the shopping area. If you need directions. Ask the, well, I don't want to say old ladies because that's impolite, but like the ladies with a lot of life experience, they know it. They know it all. Getting on to another bus. Here we are, beginning of Oxford Street. So let's see if Primark has any 
Andy. Nice um, things to offer. Just bought an arm cuff and a nail polish. Not that much going on in the Primark. The other night when Nisha and I were looking for Chipotle, we also found this pure vegetarian Indian restaurant. It's called Govindas. It's near Soho. I think this is Soho Street and it's near Soho Gardens. And they have tallies. It's a bit different than I'm used to because I get a roll of bread instead of chapati or roti or something. But there's paneer involved, so that's good. This food <coughs> is freaking delicious. I highly recommend you to try out this place if you want good Indian food. And if you've never tried paneer, try it. And now we're off to find me some scone because it's tea time. And you know, you gotta have a scone on your last day in London. There's supposed to be a super cute, super secret tea room on Greek Street, 23 Greek Street. So let's see if I can find it. So you go inside into the Coach and Horses pub and you have to ask to enter their tea room. Also, I just saw it's a vegetarian and vegan pub. So you gotta go into the back and in. This is so cool. A secret tea room. Look at this. Gosh, it's just too cute. And this is what it's called, Solo Secret Tea Room. Seriously, I can't even look at this cuteness. Look at this cuteness. There's like a fireplace thingy. It's just perfect cuteness in the middle of central London. Like, <sighs> London is making all my dreams come true. This is like the cutest thing ever. Look with a little teapot and the scones. Oh, I love scones so much. the bus because I need to pack and then we're saying goodbye to London. All packed. Nish is having his dinner. Enjoy. Thank you. In the bus on our way to Victoria Station. Do you look sad? Do you sad tennis? Mm. Honestly, standing in line for check-in. <laughs> And they are so freaking slow and it's so annoying. I'm just very used to Flixbus where you just step into the bus and they check in with, with the app. It's ugh, very frustrating. This is by far the worst experience. They are like working with three people on one ticket and it's taking just so long to check in. And this was already a case in Amsterdam. I thought maybe because it's busy or something. No, this is the same thing and it's ridiculous. Time to say goodbye. Yep. See you later. Okay. See you in a week and a half? Yeah, see you in two weeks. He's coming to Amsterdam to celebrate your birthday. Yeah. yeah. Bye, pretty London. See you next time. We are on the ferry again, about to depart, and I have one and a half hour on this little mini couch. Nappy time. Arrived in Calais on our way to the bus again. So we're here half an hour early. Seriously, what the F happened to my suitcase? Do you know how long I have this thing? This is ridiculous. So I just went inside and I have to file a complaint or something. Seriously, this is a really cheap option, but I would advise against it because it's just too much hassle. Like it's 50 euros, but there's like so much mental health. This trip cost me. I would not recommend it, especially because on our way to London, you have to, you know, it's like 3 a.m. and you have to get onto the ferry and then sleep and then it's still an hour drive and no. I would advise against this, just book a plane ticket, take the train from Stansted, whatever, Gatwick to London. I would not go by bus again. <laughs> If you liked our last day in London, put a thumbs up if you're not yet subscribed to my channel. I make these travel vlogs every single day when I'm traveling. I also have a travel video on Saturday and a road back to India series on Sunday because I am going back to India this year. So click that subscribe button and then you can come along.